Hi guys, it's Shanae. Welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve a cut crease. I know cut creases can be very daunting and they look complicated, but I'm going to keep it really, really simple for you guys today. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to achieve one. Also, please ignore the fact that I'm wearing a hoodie. It's so cold in Melbourne at the moment. I have turned the heater up really, really high. I'll probably start sweating in this room really soon. So before we get started, don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment down below click the bell button and subscribe button so you guys are notified every time we upload new videos and let's just get started so what we're going to do first is prime our eyelids I'm going to use the age rewind concealer this is one of my favorite concealers because it's got really good coverage to it basically we're just gonna start off as normal like we're doing a normal eyeshadow look and then I'll show you how to get into that cut crease I'm going to put the concealer all over my eyelids I already did do my brows off camera that's why they look looks so neat. You can see how much of a difference that concealer has made. Like my under eyes are so dark. I had a really good sleep last night too. I don't know why they're so dark. I look so tired. <laughs> that might be a good video to film how to cover under eye circles. So what I'm doing now is just smoothing out that base to make sure it's just really nice and smooth. I'm going to use my usual Maybelline Matte Maker Powder. I really need a new one, like I've used this so much. At least it shows that I love it though. And I'm going to set that eye base down. This really helps the shadows blend out a lot smoother. So for my eyeshadow today, I think the burgundy bar is calling out to me. I really like this one. So that's what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to start off with this kind of light brown. And I'm going to start working this into the crease area. Just blending back and forth. Okay, so next color I'm going to go into is the dark chocolate brown. And what I'm going to do now is keep this closer into the crease. God, that shade is so pigmented. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of hug this area. I just want it to blend up into that lighter brown. By the way, don't worry about the lid area too much. So if it gets messy down here, don't worry about it. So I'm just taking that chocolate brown shade again and I'm going to put this on the outer corner of the eye. The reason I'm doing this is because I think I'm just going to show you guys a half cut crease. I personally find that the most flattering on my eye shape anyway. Some people like to do like a full cut crease where it's completely cut all the way from the start to the end. I like to kind of do one that kind of ends around here and then kind of just fades out into a darker color. Overall the technique is pretty much the same if you're doing like a half or full cut crease obviously. If you're doing a half one, you just stop a little bit earlier with your concealer. Okay, so the moment of truth, we're going to start the cut crease. I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer in the color 15 Fair. This one's just a little bit easier to put onto the eyelid because the one's a bit smaller. And I'm just going to place this on the inner half, I guess. I'm just going to spread that out with a brush. And what I like to do now is relax my eye. So let my eye... <laughs> fall like this just so that concealer transfers up where that concealer has transferred up here is kind of like your guideline on where you should bring your concealer up to so where the concealer has transferred I'm going to bring that concealer up there I'll just blend out the edges here if you feel like you need more concealer feel free to go in with more concealer so one eye is done I'm going to go ahead and do the other one I now have my concealer down, so now I'm going to set it with an eyeshadow. I think I might use this one, but I might mix a little bit of this one as well. Okay, so the last step I've got for you guys is to blend these edges here. So I'm going to take some more of that dark brown and just kind of blend these two so they kind of fade really nicely.
Okay, so we're pretty much done with this cut crease. I'm going to put on mascara, liner, and lashes, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what the completed look looks like. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I have finished all my makeup. You can tell that the eye makeup definitely looks better. Once I've got some liner and lashes on, it definitely completes the whole look. I know cut creases can be very daunting, especially when you're starting because it just looks really funny when you don't have anything else on your face, but it always usually does come together. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys and gives you the courage to try out a cut crease. Let me know down below if you are going to try one out. By the way, before I go, I'll let you know what lip color I am wearing just because I know people will ask. I'm wearing the Superstay Matte Ink Lip in the color Loyalist. It's such a perfect nude color. It's one of my favorites. So before you go, don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell button so you guys are notified every time we upload new Maybelline Makeup Loft videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.